Oh, no. Are you a hidden basketball player, dunking on people? Yeah, I'm really bad at geography. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, you got, hold on one sec, you got a friend here. Oh, what is it? There's a, a bee, just wanted to save your life. All right, I will text you. Just want my number? Yeah. Okay, 519. Fellas, here's part two of what I learned from approaching over 15,000 girls, okay? Now, the most important thing is that these skills that you learn from being able to confidently go up and approach a girl any place, anywhere, anytime. These bleed over into other aspects of your life. You'll start to notice that you'll be able to go and make friends easily, right? You're almost one step ahead of, you know, all the average guys out there, right? You can almost read body language, right? And predict what they're going to say. Like it's just, it's crazy the skills you learn doing this, okay? And I'm going to get more into that later because I find that that is the most important part of this. Looks do matter to an extent, right? And I really noticed this when I first got in shape, right? Like when I first started doing this, I had a bit of a pudgier face, right? Like I was a bit heavier and you know what? I'll throw up some clips on screen so you can see it. But you know, when I would first do this, I had the confidence, but I wasn't necessarily getting the results. Right? So, you know, looks will get you in the door. You want to make sure that your looks maxing, you're making sure that you figure out, okay, are you better clean shaven? Are you better with a beard? Get in shape so you're, you know, sub 15% body fat. You don't have to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. You want to have that jawline that cuts glass, right? So clean up your diet. That's, you know, first and foremost here, okay? That's point number one. Point number two, it's not as much about what you say, it's more about how you say something, right? When I first started doing cold approach, I would try to remember lines, I would watch other guys go up to girls and get numbers, and I would think, okay, if this guy can go up and say that line, then so can I, right? But the problem with that is it comes off as scripted and inorganic, or inauthentic, right? Not organic, right? So, the, my, my point in saying this is that 80% of communication is nonverbal. Okay, so it's the subtleties, right? It's more about what's not being said when you're talking to a girl. Just remember, guys, girls are very socially calibrated, right? So there's a difference between going up and saying, hi, how are you? And hi, how are you? So it's just the, the small things and the way that you communicate, the way that you say things, right? With downward inflections, not upward inflections. Inflections, right? Because you don't want to make it sound like you're questioning what you're saying. Don't judge a book by its cover, okay? And I say this because when I first got into cold approach, you know, approaching girls, I would think that, okay, the girl walking around with the, the resting <laughs> face, the, just don't go and approach those girls, right? Or a girl with headphones in, don't go and approach those girls. It's not necessarily the case because you don't know, you know, what somebody is going through in that moment, or they just look like they won't be approachable. You know, looks can be deceiving, right? So. Approach everybody. You can even go the reverse with that. I've approached some girls before that, you know, smile at me or I catch like fixing their hair and they're not as receptive, right? It's rare, but it does happen. Sometimes there's just overly friendly girls that like to smile at everybody, right? So you don't know until you actually go up and approach, right? Here's the thing is you have to learn to be socially calibrated, right? You do this by putting the reps in over and over and over again, okay? So now I'm able to go up and speak to a girl for a minute, tops, and I know if she's into me, I know if she's receptive to what I'm saying, what I'm presenting, and if she's not, then I just move on to the next, right? I pull the shoot, I don't try to you know, win her over. It, there's no point, right? Even if you look like Brad Pitt in Fight Club, right, you're not going to be able to win every single girl over, okay? I can't stress this enough. Some girls are just into Asian guys. Some girls are just into Indian guys. Some girls are just into guys with 10 toes, 11 toes, <laughs> right? You don't know, okay? So don't get hung up on the, on the details here. Point number four is that being direct is by far the best approach for a beginner. Now let me explain. When I first got into pickup, I would go up and I would just start talking about whatever, which is fine, but then, you know, the conversation would just it would be all over the place, right? 
we'd be talking about the weather, we'd be talking about what she does for work, and I'd be thinking in the back of my mind, oh, I wish I knew how to like, you know, be a little more flirty. I wish I knew how I could come off and show my intention a little more, but I'm stuck in talking about something that I don't want to be talking about. And the thing is, is I could tell that the girl was receptive to what I was, what I was saying. She was responding, she was smiling, but I just didn't know what to do with that, right? So it's important to get that intention out of the way. That's why when I would go up to girls initially, when I first started doing this, I would say, hi, I thought you were pretty, I had to come up and meet you or whatever. I thought you were pretty, I had to come up and say, hi, my name is Kelvin, right? Like, it just gets that out of the way. So the girl's like, okay, wow, this guy really has balls. He's not trying to hide his intentions. Because that's the thing is women know why you went up and approached them. You didn't just go up and approach them to talk about how it's going to rain on a Thursday, right? They know, they know, they can tell, okay? And the last thing I learned from doing over 15,000 approaches is, drum roll please, like I alluded to earlier, this crosses over, the skill to be able to do this crosses over to many different areas in your life, okay? This has helped me get jobs, this has helped me make some of my closest friends today, this has helped me network, I now know a pilot. I know people that give me access to clubs, to different venues. It goes way beyond approaching girls, okay? Because when you interact with enough random people, it's a skill in itself because there's nobody really doing that, right? I'm in the film and TV industry, okay? I work as an actor and when I go and audition, I don't even think about it, right? Walking into a room of, you know, random strangers judging you, I do it all the time. I go up and approach girls. I go up and approach guys on the street like it's nothing to me. Meanwhile, people are like, you know, sitting there literally shaking like a leaf and it's just, you know, another day at the office, right? Like you, you're on another level than, you know, the average guy when it comes to social skills, right? You can almost see the wheels in his head turning. You can almost see the average guy like, you know, going through the motions, thinking, okay, like, how am I going to keep up with you? You know, because you're just social, like, so incredibly socially aware, it's insane, right? And the thing is, is girls notice this shit, right? When you're out in public and you're interacting with, you know, the bartender, you're interacting with the waiter, you're, you're communicating, you're, you're talking about, you know, your passion, you're asking him questions, getting him to open up about himself, Girls notice how guys interact with other guys, so it's only gonna help you guys out with girls in the long run. You know what, if you guys are struggling with going up to girls and wondering, okay, how do I even know what to say when I initially approach, watch this video right here. Here's five cold approach openers, conversation starters you can use today.